Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to or welcome back to Kovacs Corner where we got another React video to Gator EX Yugo. We are checking out the Yu-Gi-Oh! Reboot Conspiracy. I'm gonna drop a like on it because I've already seen it and stuff. But yeah, no man, like always, video link's gonna be down in the description. Uh, creator page is also going to be down in the description if you enjoy content like this make sure that you go you check them out for sure for sure and uh, hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down in the description below think about becoming a channel member you get access to videos before anybody else and with all that being said let's get into it the more things change the more they stay the same Yu-Gi-Oh is in an interesting time as the 25th anniversary celebrations continue, there have been a few interesting things. Though the well, like yo, not too long ago too, we just finished doing a react video about someone else discussing whether or not there should be a Yu-Gi-Oh reboot, and I'm I'm in strong favor of a Yu-Gi-Oh reboot to uh, to pop off with new archetypes, all that stuff. You know what I mean? The discussion I'm bringing about today started off as a conspiracy, I actually feel that it ended up kind of becoming true in a way. So everything started off with a reveal of a brand new card, Nightmare Magician. This is a level 7 monster with 2500 attack and 2000 defense. This with Duelist Nexus though, it was so hard to pull any kind of cards that were worth buying the box. Stat line is important because it's one we often see on ace monsters of anime protagonists. Basically, an unspoken tradition for as long as the Yu Gi Oh! anime continue with this series produced by Studio Bridge. Though, as of 2020, the anime has been going in a different direction. I wouldn't say it's bad, I honestly really love Yu Gi Oh! 7s, but the point is the current anime, now continuing with Go Rush, no longer focuses on Master Duel, instead, advertising Rush Duels. As such, there's no new summoning mechanic added to the TCG, therefore no new protagonist, and therefore no new boss monster. Th Which is a little bit frustrating, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It is frustrating. Like Rush Duel is its own thing, and they should branch off and make a new Yu-Gi-Oh! series, I believe. The game and the anime have been doing just fine as is, but when Nightmare Magician was revealed, it caused a bit of a stir in the community. Also because like it veers course from the original Duel Monsters, you know what I'm saying? From like Duelist Kingdom, the way how it had all the way up to, what was it? Like GX, pretty much, that was all like, it all flowed together, it coincided together with the game. You know what I'm saying? On top of like a couple of the movies and stuff like that, where Rush is its own thing, you know? And now they're pushing Rush, even though it was kind of like DOA. It was cool for like two weeks, and then fell off, but you still have a fan base for mostly younger younger kids that are into Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's like their introduction into, into Yu-Gi-Oh! Compared to how we were introduced to Yu-Gi-Oh! With an awesome story arc, dope duels, and I don't know, it, it was just really, really good, right? So I feel that they should bring it back for nostalgia purposes for the older audience. To get us more enthused about Yu-Gi-Oh! Because a lot of people have been leaving Yu-Gi-Oh! From what I've seen. So take into account that this was a monster featuring a brand new type, Illusion. So it felt like the perfect time for a new start. Nightmare Magician is most reminiscent of Dark Magician. With a similar naming scheme as well as a design that was fantasy with vague Egyptian theming. This began the conspiracy that there would be a reboot of Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Taking place in the original Duel Monster setting. But with current summoning mechanics and monster types. This card... It also makes me think about about back when uh, they tried Dungeon Dice Monsters, and that was almost like them trying to recreate Yu-Gi-Oh! in a different light. The card was going to be Yu-Gi's brand new Ace Monster, and while things obviously didn't pan out that way, I actually feel like we did kind of get a Yu-Gi-Oh! reboot. There's a Nightmare Magician meant to evoke the same feeling as Dark Magician, along with the more recently introduced Nightmare Apprentice, an obvious counterpart to Dark Magician Girl. Both of them are meant to hype up the brand new Illusion type. Another important time we got a pair of monsters like this was with Gagaga -Ga -Ga Magician and Gagaga -Ga Girl, famously appearing in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel anime, which itself could sort of be a soft reboot, more so in the way that Pokemon Black and White was meant for that franchise. A new era with a lot of changes and several callbacks to the original while still being unique. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. I wasn't really a fan of Zexel, to be honest. Like, 5Ds was alright too, but I wasn't a super fan. All about dueling on the bikes and stuff is a little bit whack. GX was all about heroes. It kind of got played out, but nothing beats the OG in my opinion. GX and 5Ds were their own era, all culminating in the Bonds Beyond Time crossover. One of the next three series. The Time crossover was actually a pretty sick movie. 
series, formed a second era. Now we're basically in a third. Of course, this doesn't all just hinge on these two monsters, but in the card game alone, we're seeing a lot of ways a new legacy is being built while honoring the original. Of course, the endless waves of Dark Magician and Blue Eyes White Dragon support are expected, but there's just a bit more. Let's take the Illusion type, for example. One of the most prominent decks for the type is Chimera, which features retrains of Gazelle, Burfamet, and the namesake, Chimera. These are all monsters used at some point in the anime by Yami Yugi. Retraining old monsters is nothing new. Thankfully, Yugo has been doing that for a while now, but deciding to choose these monsters is one piece of the puzzle. Because we also have a new version of Yugi's last manga deck being printed in the TCG. Brand new That's pretty crazy. Brand new version. Because we also have a new version of Yugi's last manga deck being printed in the TCG. Brand new archetypes like Horus are utilizing Egyptian theming, calling back to the feeling of a... Yeah, back to the Egyptian theme, which is where I chimed in beforehand being like, yo, we should have a new anime series that takes them all the way back to Egypt of how the Pharaoh became Pharaoh, the whole thing about Kaiba and uh, the Maiden of Eyes of Blue the way how she ended up getting turned into a card and stuff like that even though it was like it, that's the love story in there and stuff like that and uh yeah i would love to see that tcg brand new archetypes like horus are utilizing egyptian theming calling back to the feeling of original dual monsters and not to mention the current era of Yu-Gi-Oh brought about the return of fusion monsters the original extra deck summon they required a fusion spell along with at least two materials. And basically everything since then, Synchro, Xyz, Link, are more or less the same thing just without the spell. The concept of combining two monsters into a more powerful monster is the basis on which everything else was later built. And even before now, there were some fusion decks that were really taking off and doing well enough. I think we can see these as the predecessors, finally tinkering things and developing an understanding of what can really make a good fusion deck in the modern game. I'm saying- Pray for decks, man all this to drive home the point that while we did not get a brand new summoning mechanic in the TCG that would define the game for the next few years, we instead got a decent balance of everything that was already there. But most of all I would say the current period of Yu-Gi-Oh has been led by fusion monsters. Powerful decks like Branded, Despia, Tier Limits, Thunder Dragon, Invoked, even less popular decks still showing up here and there, not to mention the use of generic fusion monsters. Some examples like Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and Destiny Hero and Phoenix Enforcer don't seem generic. They were played simply because they were enabled by a generic card like Predaplant Verti Anaconda. You can debate whether or not it was a healthy card Art for the game, I side more on the opinion that it isn't, but I think you've gotta admit it was pretty cool to see cards like It was pretty cool to be able to see cards like this. And to also be able to run this card in almost any deck. Like this being at the forefront. Also, Super Polymerization is an Super older card, but more recently with monsters like card. Predaplant Draco Stapelia, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, it's better than ever. So while we didn't exactly get a reboot in the same way that some people had theorized, we did still get brand new card types with a magician duo, monsters used by Yugi in the anime, Egyptian theming in not only the game, but the products and fusion monsters being top contenders. To me at least, that feels like old school Yu-Gi-Oh in a new school way. So let me know how you've been enjoying Yu-Gi-Oh! in a post-2020 world. I know there are definitely complaints here and there, and trust me, I'm finding those battles too. But when it comes to the vibes and aesthetic, I can't complain too much. I'm loving the little things here and there we've been seeing for the 25th anniversary anniversary celebrations, and I hope it only goes up from here. Really, everything just ended up lining up perfectly for the return of fusion monsters that we've been seeing, and so I just want to talk about it. While conceptualizing this video, my Poketuber brain got activated for a moment, and I almost feel like writing fanfiction, like putting together a concept of my ideas for a new anime that goes back to Master Duels, where the protagonist uses Nightmare Magician as a race, but I think I would need like more time to actually put something together for that. It's a That would actually be pretty dope. Like, if they were to do the Egyptian arc, and then come out for like a master dual art kind of thing and showing how the new cards could be utilized in today's day and age even though it's going to have its own mechanics and stuff it's still a great idea something i want to do more on the main channel as well so we'll see what summer brings about and what everybody thinks in the comments anyway this is gator x thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you all later well yo big shout out to uh, gator x there killing it well let me know down in the down in the comment section whether or not you'd want to see kind of changes like that popping off with Yu-Gi-Oh. i feel like it kind of needs a little bit of a revamp a new movie new uh protagonist and antagonist uh just like to bring back the nostalgia a little bit bring it back to the card game uh instead of rush no offense against rush duels but even if they were to do a speed duel like straight up just speed duel like yeah it's always a toss up a little bit, right? It all depends. But let me know down in the comments what you think. Also, 
the video and the creator page are going to be down in the description below feel free go check out gator uh gator x yugo's page if you're into this kind of stuff he does conspiracy theories about Yu-Gi-Oh and a bunch of other stuff but yeah no man that's pretty much going to do it for us here feel free to hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down in the description below and have yourselves a fantastic day man peace